now we are working on uh, some project and after that we can work on some uh, pattern features which we have done earlier we are just now drawing a butterfly wall assembly part which is body part so now you can see there how to draw that part first of all we have to observe this object from front side and top so you can see there the top view of this body part is there and that is the body uh, left side view and that is the section front view so we will take dimension from all the views and after that we have drawn we, we will draw some uh, objects here so first of all I'm just starting from this area the radius is 140 and this radius is 194 so I'm just creating outer circle which is of uh, 140 radius create a new file and now take a top plane create new file new sketch here provide the circle radius the size I'm giving is 140 radius diameter will be 280 click OK then extrusion and extrusion will be there of around you can see the dimension which is 250 225 225 so I am just giving the size here level 25 and ok now just pick this face pick this upper face and after that draw one of uh, one flange there so now I am just picking this face as a base of new feature control it draw a line segment center line segment give the length length I have to draw here of around 175 millimeter so you will see there we have given here the length and the size we are defining is 175 now draw one circle here one circle more at the same center size we have to define is 100 and that's that will be 47 you can see there radius 50 and 47 diameter so the same thing we have drawn here 147 and now after that create one line segment horizontally from the top edge of the circle and at the bottom edge of the circle same and now you have to just use convert entity convert entity converts the edge boundary of the existing solid now you got the line segment here circular line segment entity there trim the entity there from this this and this click here and now you have got this click OK control 7 now just use the feature extrusion reverse the size you need to define is 32 millimeters so now we are just using 32 millimeter and click OK now you have got one item here and one more thing you will see there whenever we are extruding with reference to some other surface or some other solid so you got the operation which is merge result if you are using merge result then that will be merge in one solid otherwise if we are not using merge result that will be a separate entity like this so now this is called body but we will discuss about body in our next sessions so first of all we are working on this merge result and ok and now we have just pick the operation pick the extrude number 2 and here we have the option which is called circular pattern now pick the circular face for having the axis and now equal space will be there and number of entity I am just providing which is 3 now we have got 3 items are there 1, 2 and 3 now we need to make same at the bottom now so just we are just providing the mirror 
pick these both uh, features from the model tree and now use the mirror operation and here you have to provide mirror plane that plane will be top plane and click OK and you will see the object has been created like this and now you can see there at the opposite of this of, uh, primary object we have this surface so we have to draw this thing this circle this circular profile we have to draw like this here and the plane offset will be 160 millimeter the distance they have showed us is 160 so I'm just offsetting a new plane no. yes let's see which is a core object so this was the first object I feel so we'll see there this are the prior object so this plane should be right plane should be taken and make an offset of this plane at the reverse side the size the distance we are defining is 160 and click OK and here we are just providing control 8 and now after that create circle like this provide the size the size here I am providing is around 150 no that should be 200 so the size I am defining is 200 and click OK now control 7 make an extrusion up to next done so that has been done like this and now you can see there pick the surface here control 7 and now control 8 now after that pick up PCD of 150 now click here and make it into construction element provide one circle and provide the size the size that we need to have is where the size has been mentioned we see there the size is 20.3 is a diameter and we need three places 15 millimeter deep so we are just providing 20 point three and just click OK exit use extrude cut provide that distance is 15 millimeter pick the object and now use the operation which is circular pattern now circulate the hole in three click OK now you have got the exit entity and now select again the face and after that create a circular counter object there the counter object size is the second one one double zero one double zero and now we will see there it has showed us that the depth of this depth of this object is around 25 millimeter here they have showed us 25 millimeter you can see 100 is a diameter and depth will be 25 so I'm just going out and use extrude cut depth will be 25 millimeter and done we see there like this now after that what I need to do is I need a smaller circle which is of 56.2 and the depth value will be you can see there the depth value will be 310 but I feel that this is impossible to create 310 depth value uh, circle entity here just because that overall length is not so much you know larger than 310 so you have to work on 325 
first of all you have to create an object a plane you need to offset up to 325 so just do one thing select this plane and now create a reference option and here 325 is a value we are defining and now click OK on that plane sketch control it and after that pick the circle give a size the size I'm defining here is around 20 let's see what's the size the size is 75 they have showed us I'm just defining 75 is a diameter and done now just extrude this object reverse up to next okay then this has been done now pick this face or plane control 8 now you see there we are just creating a center circle here the size will be around 56.2 and now after that click OK now you see there extrude cut is the operation reverse depth value will be 310 click OK and now if you are making changes in display style you will see the cutout the cutout will be about 2310 so now you can see there these things we have drawn here the switch of the plane and now just face create a circle on that provide the size 194 is the diameter as given to us here extrude cut throw all and done so you can see there these things we can draw here accordingly so now the butterfly wall assembly's body part has been you know drawn one modeled like this so save the file and done now the next feature will be there is in pattern feature we have left only one feature which is uh, table driven pattern so we are just completing that feature to pick this uh, plane and create a rectangle